It's one of the benefits of being a police chief. We've got some challenges being police chiefs so these days. This is one of the real benefits and it's really an honor. I'm grateful that uh, Matthew and the Ameri American Cancer Society uh, thought um, enough of me to allow me to participate in this very, very um, important, important issue. And it's got a personal touch for me as well. I mean, I think everyone probably in this room has a story. I certainly have a, a story as far as the impact of this uh, disease on my family. Um, so I had a very, uh, very dear friend who uh, died of this disease, leaving uh, um, a husband and three kids behind. Very tough to see that and watch her, uh, watch her go through the, uh, the trials and tribulations of this disease. I have some friends who have survived, like one uh, right here, Laura Schwartz. And that, to me, is very encouraging. My mother-in-law also had, uh, had breast cancer, had surgery, and she was 73 years old at the time and was ziplining in Costa Rica three months later. So <laughs> I much prefer the happy endings and anything I can do in my capacity as police chief I'm going to do. And I must uh, confess something to this uh, this group here. I'm a little bit competitive. I'm like really, really hyper competitive. And when I see the fire chief raise uh, three thousand and five dollars, it just I have got to raise at least three thousand and ten, if not more. Um, and there was also a chief I uh, was reading up on this uh, this effort in. Florida that raised over $13,000. So I'm not sure I can reach that pinnacle, but I'm certainly going to try. And again, thank you, Matthew, and to the American Cancer Society for inviting me to this very important event. Thank you.